ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travis, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, is this the end for smoking in the UK? Now, let's get into it. We've made it to launch day for the UK's first orbital rocket launch, kicking off in Cornwall. We've got uh, pretty well much a green across all of the gates at the moment. Then Virgin Orbit have been loading fuel onto the rocket overnight. Ranges have been declared out. The safety zones and the temporary danger areas in airspace have all been arranged as well. The crew are getting into what we call hazardous operations. They're getting into their launch mode. We've been speaking with Ian Annett, the Deputy Chief Executive at the UK Space Agency, ahead of Virgin Orbit's 747 plane taking off from Newquay Airport. The plane called Cosmic Girl is fitted with a rocket under its left wing that will propel nine satellites into orbit. Ian says there are real advantages to horizontal launches like this one. They can fly above the weather. um, And then again, there are some constraints, of course, when you're looking at vertical launch, whereby uh, rockets don't like lateral forces when when you're launching them vertically. So you can kind of fly them above that weather in any strong winds that you've got and then launch them from around about 36,000 feet. He says the flight will hopefully open up the UK to more satellite launches in future with Virgin. The UK sees itself as being very much a, a very competitive place for them to operate on, particularly having done it once. You know, We would see ourselves as being the attractive hub for European launch, uh, whether it's Cornwall or indeed whether it's first people sites uh, from Sutherland or Shetland or, um, or elsewhere. The government has announced that single-use cutlery and plates will be banned in England, although when exactly has not yet been confirmed. It follows on from similar moves already made by Scotland and Wales. Official figures suggest that 1.1 billion single-use plates and more than 4 billion pieces of plastic cutlery are used in England every year. Even though they might be considered useful in terms of food hygiene, they also end up as pollution and cause damage to the environment. Could it be the beginning of the end for smoking in the UK? Labour says they're looking at the idea of introducing a New Zealand-style ban on the sale of cigarettes here, as part of fresh radical thinking to ease pressure on the NHS, if they were to get into power in the next election. Shadow Health Secretary Wes Streeting says the party will consult on new measures and consider the results. The government has set an objective for England to be smoke-free by 2030. A promising vaccine that could prevent brain cancer has been developed by US scientists. The dual action therapy kills established tumours and trains the immune system to stop them recurring. In experiments, it worked on mice carrying cells derived from humans, mimicking what will happen in patients. The breakthrough raises hopes of editing DNA in the brain with a vaccine, without any tissue having to be removed. Apple's long-rumoured mixed-reality headset could finally make its debut this spring. According to Bloomberg, after years of speculation and development, it's nearly ready and the company plans to announce the device sometime ahead of its annual WWDC conference in June, with a potential release in the autumn. Apple has reportedly shared the headset with a handful of high-profile software developers, giving them a first look at its new XR OS software. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, the strange story of how Elon Musk surprised Richard Bronson in his kitchen in the middle of the night. Why not hit rate and follow in the meantime? Welcome back. Elon Musk has asked a judge to move an upcoming trial for a shareholder lawsuit out of San Francisco over concerns that the jury may be biased. The billionaire claims that local media coverage of him and his businesses in the area has negatively influenced jurors and thereby prevents a fair trial. The shareholder lawsuit stems from tweets in August 2018 by Musk, which said he had sufficient financing to take Tesla private at $420 a share, an announcement that caused heavy volatility in the company's share price. A survey suggests that men are around twice as likely as women to have their identity stolen. More than 1 in 10 women said it happened to them, and for men it was nearly a quarter. The survey of more than 3,000 people across the UK by Nationwide Building Society also found that of those whose identity was stolen, a third said it was used to order goods such as a mobile phone or a vehicle in their name, while more than a quarter said it was used to access or steal from their accounts. And finally... Ever found Elon Musk in your kitchen in the middle of the night? Us neither, but apparently that's something that happens when you're Richard Branson. 
In an interview, the Virgin founder has revealed how he once woke up at around 2.30am, went downstairs to find the fellow billionaire barefoot with his baby in the kitchen. Branson told the Sunday Times magazine that a member of his family had let Musk in, and he'd come round to say good luck ahead of the Virgin Galactic mission to take the first passengers into space. They apparently made a pot of tea and enjoyed it outside under the stars. As you do, I guess. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.